Hey, it's Vicky and welcome back to my channel. As you know, I've been staying at the Airbnb and I've been here for two weeks now and today is the day that I have to move out and I'm so happy to share the news that I just got approved for an apartment but the move-in date isn't until uh, September 2nd so I have to stay at another place for another two weeks but I'm uh, rather excited because it's in another uh, neighborhood. Currently I'm staying uh, in Glendale which is located near the city. It's uh, more like a homey neighborhood. There are a lot of houses it's very chill like mostly families live here but uh, now I'm going to live in uh, West Hollywood which is in the middle of the city so the vibe will be totally different but I'm really excited to explore another new uh, neighborhood around here and actually I found the place through my only Estonian friend here so it's his wife's boss that I'm going to stay with it's also her boyfriend and the dog so they just had like a spare bedroom and I'm going to get my own private bathroom so so I'm very excited about that because uh, here I've been sharing the bathroom with my host and it's actually a bit cheaper to stay there too. Oh my god, the dog's outside. And I think that's it for the update, so let's get packing. <laughs> everything I've got with me like two big suitcases another one back there if you can see a backpack and two of smaller bags and a jacket and I need to bring everything to a third floor so I'll probably come down here like three or four times because I'm all by myself So let me give you an overview of my room. Let's start from the right. I'm so happy that I have a table because I didn't uh, have it in my last uh, place where I was staying and I was working on my bed with the computer and my back was constantly aching. So I think this is gonna be amazing. But I'm not sure about the chair because it seems like an outdoor, like a balcony chair and usually my back starts also aching with those. But at least I have a table. It's super cute also. I really love the color of the wood and everything. It even has some drawers here. Then this is the view. Here we have a large bed, nightstand, a lamp, and a huge mirror, and a big closet inside. So that's the one side. Lots of space for my clothes and shoes. And this is the other side. And when I walk out of my room, right here is my bathroom. I can't believe that I'm the only one using it. I've even got daylight and it looks so cozy and homey. I love that they have put candles everywhere. It smells amazing. I love the decor. I've got my towels here, like the neutral colors and the toilet, bathtub. This place is great. <laughs> I'm loving it. My lunch just arrived. I ordered again from Kendall Greens because the last time the food was delicious. So I've got home-baked chocolate chip cookie and the chocolate has already started to melt. A mint lemonade and we've got the grilled salmon, some bread, grilled uh, vegetables and baby spinach with uh, goat cheese and some kind of dressing. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm gonna finish this and then I have to return my rental car. 
Update. I just got back from uh, returning my rental car and actually I was supposed to go straight from there to my Estonian friend and borrow his second car because he's not using that so much and he said that I could use it for another few weeks until I find myself my own car. But this morning he texted me that uh, when he went to check out his second car all the tires were impaled and he couldn't fix it today because most of the places are closed on the weekend so hopefully he can fix it uh, by tomorrow. I don't have the best luck with cars right now but thankfully I found a girl from my school who also lives in West Hollywood and uh, she's going to give me a ride to school tomorrow morning but I really want to get a car by the end of tomorrow because LA is such a car city and without a car it's quite hard to move around and uh, when you're constantly ordering Uber rides it gets uh, quite expensive. For example my last ride cost me $60 which is like 52 euros from the car rental place to here <laughs> and now I need to start unpacking honestly I'm exhausted and that's the like last thing I want to do right now but uh, as the school starts tomorrow morning I would love to get settled in and I don't want all my clothes to get wrinkled so I just need to pull myself together and do it my only motivation right now is that my dinner arrives in half an hour and I would love to get everything done i probably won't manage everything but i will do as much as i can in that time arrive and I've only managed to hang those clothes up. I've still got all of this. I ordered an acai bowl and it looks amazing. I just finished with my morning classes on Zoom. Because I hadn't checked my school email, I just realized that I have to be at school at 8 p.m. today because we're doing group projects and every group has like two hours. And uh, some of them started at 12, I'm going at 8 and finishing at 10 p.m. But uh, while I was listening to the last class, I was also getting ready because I thought that I also had to be at school at 12. But now I have eight hours to kill, so I thought that I will finally do my uh, back to school haul because those things have been sitting in the corner of my room for a week. I think I've already worn like one third of the things so that's why some of them don't have the tags anymore. Here's everything all together. There are other brands also in those bags because I was shopping with my reusable tote bags but uh, they got uh, filled up pretty quickly. And before I start I want to mention that my aesthetic lately has been like vintage country club classy that's the style i'm most inspired by right now and trying to recreate but also i have this funky street style in me so the things in here are gonna be very opposite <laughs> okay let's start with forever 21 lately i've been really into green so i found this super cute tank top i love the buttons i think it's super easy to style and uh, great for the warm weather that i have here in los angeles next up we have this beige neutral colored plaid skirt which is very school uniform vibes <laughs> and uh, it's also very feminine and I think easy to style because of the color like everything goes with it such a cool funky belt I love the silver detailing continuing with the school vibe we have another plaid skirt this is black and white very classy it's this stretchy material so super comfortable fits amazingly and it's great for school. To match the skirt, I found this uh, cropped polo shirt. Nice red color. I think it pops really well with my like blonde hair. And it has this adorable teddy bear. And it will also go very well with jeans. So again, perfect for school. 
another similar one is this gray cropped polo shirt this is more of the like country club classy vintage style i was talking about i can't really even feel it when i'm wearing it it's so soft and light okay that's it with forever 21 and continuing with the new brand that i had never heard of or visited is aeropostal i don't know how to exactly pronounce it i found a matching green set it's more like a pajama to me something to wear at home cozy cute and it's this uh, like waffle material the long sleeve top is oversized and the bottoms are fitted very well also loose really comfortable and just perfect for uh, when you're lounging at home <laughs> watching Netflix. Next up we have H&M. I've been starting to get into brown color things more. So this is probably my first brown item I've ever purchased, like clothing wise. Very preppy looking uh, high-waisted skirt, comfortable, thick material so it doesn't feel like it's cheap. Yep, very girly. And then we have this beige neutral colored flannel. It's a perfect piece to throw on when you're going inside because outside we have like 30 degrees and it's super hot but inside the AC is super cold and when you're sitting there for like two hours it usually gets freezing. So that's gonna be perfect for that. And lastly from H&M, another brown thing. This is a puffy vest. I really wanted to get something like that but I wasn't sure if I wanted to get it in the full length or a cropped one but I decided to go with that because I thought most of my like skirts and pants are high waisted anyway so it will go better with them and just screams fall to me. Another brand that I had never heard before is Airy and I love that they have such good quality bags. I don't usually take bags from uh, shops because I go with my own tote bags but uh, I thought that this would be perfect for going even like grocery shopping if I just need a few things. Firstly, I got this oversized sweatshirt. The white creamy color is beautiful and it says tacos and tennis offline and fun fact I have played tennis for four years and yet again super easy thing to just throw on when you get cold and with the same purpose. I bought this uh, forest green sweatshirt. It reminds me of like 90s dad vibes and I would probably wear it with like light washed mom jeans and just rock the 90s vibe. Oh my god, it even has pockets. What? <laughs> you didn't know that. That's so useful. And I think that this will be perfect for the days that I have to be on set, constantly moving around, but I want to be comfortable, yet cute. Another new store that I found was Empire. And I got this amazing hoodie from there that you saw me wearing in the morning. It's like neon orange tie-dye with like blood orange and on the back it has this super cool design very modern i love the bright colors i think it's so unique and definitely catches some attention so very up my aesthetic funky street style vibe then i found some shoes in a random clothes shop i think it was called like la style la lifestyle or something like that firstly we have some sandals or flats or whatever you call them. <laughs> Neutral, super easy to style and perfect for skirts and dresses. They come in handy because the weather here is still like 30 degrees and sun every day, no clouds, no wind. And the next pair is in the same color, but those are strappy heels. I've never had anything like this before. When I tried them on, they were just so sexy and uh, comfortable, so perfect for me. And I didn't bring any heels with me because they just didn't fit into my suitcase. So I thought that I should at least have one pair in my closet just in case uh, an event or something a bit more fancy comes up. And last but not least is Paxan. I've also never visited before, but I've seen on Instagram uh, a few people wearing this brand. So let's start with this uh, preppy country club inspired sweater. It's this light pastel yellow color with some uh, pastel blue and baby pink uh, rectangles on it. Very vintage and comfortable, cute. Again, great for school. Then I found those very comfortable sweat shorts. Well, kind of like the baseball player shorts. That's the length. They're high-waisted, but uh, a bit uh, longer than your usual shorts. Very comfortable. Great for those days that you're just uh, hanging out at home, maybe cleaning, running some errands. And the color is perfect for summer. 
I think that those shorts would go really well with this hoodie like the vibrant colors are so cool and the outfit would be so unique and cool oh I can't wait to get an Instagram photo <laughs> with this outfit I saved the best thing for last because I think it's my favorite item I bought it's this super big oversized fluffy jacket it literally feels like I'm wearing a blanket and I think I've never gotten this many compliments in a day it was maybe like seven compliments even from random people on the street and I think the stitches on here make it so much more unique they're so funky and trendy and just so comfy I just want to hug it all the time it's actually in a size medium slash large because they didn't have small or extra small so I thought like whatever I'm just gonna rock it and make it extremely oversized but it works <laughs> this is my second cup of ice cream from this brand called Talenti but uh, the first one was mint chocolate chip and it was amazing so I thought I'm gonna try some other flavor and I'm having the same struggle I also couldn't open the first one my host helped me open it but they're currently away oh, I really want this ice cream are you kidding me oh oh yeah so this is southern butter pecan flavor gelato well the texture is amazing because it's a gelato it's quite soft like it's really easy to eat right after you take it out of the freezer but it's really good so i just got back from school it's um, 10 45 my last class was from 8 to 10 p.m on a friday night i would love to show you more of my school days and what's going on there soon when i get a new camera because currently the setup that i'm filming with is quite big for vlogging and that when I whip it out everybody's gonna notice and like ask what's going on they probably just won't want to be in front of the camera but if I have something smaller it's more subtle and it won't be so noticeable so it's just a hustle so that's why I haven't vlogged much in school yet but I'm planning to but I just have to wait a bit because currently like all of my this month's budget is going into buying furniture because I just got my apartment keys yesterday and I'm uh, fully moving in tomorrow so you can see everything in my next vlog if you enjoyed today's vlog please give it a thumbs up because it supports my channel and just uh, gives me a lot of positive energy to continue and definitely don't forget to subscribe so that you wouldn't miss out on my next vlogs especially on the one where i'm showing you my apartment and uh, let me know in the comments below if you did back to school shopping and what was your favorite thing that you bought or if you did not then what was your favorite thing from my haul and uh, i think that's it for tonight i'm gonna go to sleep because tomorrow i have a big day ahead of me because i have to pack everything together and move so good night and see you soon bye